Hi everybody. I'm going to put my hair up real quick because I couldn't get my editor to work on the computer. So I have to film a second video unfortunately, um, which I was trying not to do and I can't get the vlog up that I was working on. So unfortunately, you get another video with me. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind, but, um, if you didn't watch the earlier video, today I tried the Fiona Styles um, foundation in porcelain. Um, I started off liking it. I like the coverage of it, um, but looking in the mirror now, I mean, that was at 12.15 today. I have... You can see the oil in my forehead. You can see the oil coming in around my nose and on the tip of my nose. And if you look, you can see the texture in my face that I did not have before I put this foundation on. So I'm really thinking that this is a no-go. I mean, there's been a lot of foundations that I've tried in the last couple weeks that I just... I didn't even think they were good enough for me to film for you. Um, I tried the Too Faced Pearl. Um, I went and I got all these samples a couple weeks ago and I've been slowly trying them out. The Too Faced Pearl it was supposed to be a full coverage and it was sheer. I could see um, all my imperfections, everything, didn't like it. I tried the Clinique, sorry, I just hit my computer. The Clinique Linen, once again, I didn't like it, but I don't know if it's because she didn't give me enough of it. I've heard so many great things about this, and I almost bought it, and I'm glad I just got the, the tester of it. Um, I did swatch the Tarte. Um, once again, she didn't give me a lot of it. And I got these from Ulta. And I know if I went to Sephora, I'd get a full thing. Um, I don't know why I didn't get any more than that. Um, I know the girl that did the swatches for me, she was new. So maybe that has something to do with it. But when I test out, even on my hand, you can't even see. I did the swatch right here. You can't even see it on my hand. And it's, I mean, you can see the sheen of it, but when you put your powder on, it's not going to be that bad. And then tomorrow I'm going to try the Lorac um, Pro 1. I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I have been using the Laura Geller. Um, it's been working great. I'm going to try it next to and swatch it for you. This comes out so much. I mean, look at that. That's just not, that's nothing. A little bit of this goes a long way. And it does oxidize, but it it takes forever to dry. Um, so what I do is when I use it, I go and I blow dry my hair or... I'll go and eat breakfast or something. But this has a big, huge yellow undertone. And I'm more beige. Um, I've said it in a few of my other videos. I am more of a beige. But when you take your finishing powder, it's going to help with that. Um, my neck, they always say test it out to your neck. And even like this, you can see the huge difference. So as long as you blend, you want to blend, blend, blend. Um, another one that I've been using is the Altai, Altai, the Alta Demi. I can't talk, I cannot talk to save my life. Alta Demi Matte Foundation. Now this does have SPF 20, so it is great for your skin. I'm going to put just a little bit because I'm not going to... And this is a heavier foundation. That's one of the main things I don't like about it. It is very heavy, um, but depending on 
if you go ivory, it's mm. more beige. If you go classic ivory, it's got more of your yellow undertones. Mm. But once again, I did it right here. You mm. cannot see where I put it. It's not shiny. Mm. It's not glossy. And there is a difference between shiny and glossy, just so you know. Um, but I use that. I also have it in honey. I like the honey. I'll mix the honey with the ivory, and it gives it more of a beige tone instead of going all classic ivory. Um, right in here, I'll move my glasses. Through my um, cheeks, I am naturally no no no. I am naturally darker, and then through my T zone, I have more red, but right up here by my temples, and in my lower cheeks and my jawline and my chin, I am more. I'm lighter than porcelain, so when I have my concealer and my highlighter I have to go almost white for the highlighter because I'm so pale you can't see it and I want that nice lightness underneath my eyes I want the lightness in my t-zone I want the heart shape so I want from here to here lighter and I want the outside darker so I mean that was one of the things I liked about the Fiona Styles is I didn't use any highlighter, no concealer, nothing. And underneath my eyes, you can see, you know, I have the normal wear of the makeup, but it's normally right here I have really heavy bags. And you really can't see them, which I like. But you can see right here, it's all blotchy. And I can see it in the viewfinder. Right here is blotchy. It's oily right here. It's blotchy right in here. It's oily. It's really oily right along my nose. See how shiny that is? That's natural oil coming through and like I said I didn't set it with powder either so that's pretty much my own fault for not setting it with powder I'm sure if I set it with powder I wouldn't be this oily but I know I would still be this blotchy I mean I'm really splotchy it's I can see it right over here it's all oily up here but it's all splotchy you know it's it's splotchy right in here I mean, it's, I don't know. I have enough in here. I'm going to try it again tomorrow with the primer. I'm just going to see if maybe it's because I didn't use a primer. I know there's some foundations where the formula in them, you need to have a primer. So maybe that's what my problem was with this, is that I didn't use a primer. So we'll try it with a primer and I will let you know um, but I'm going to clean my face off real quick and I'm going to talk to you about a mask before I sign off of here I am really into masks I'm really into making sure my face is hydrated um, this mask it's not really a mask you can sleep with it and it hydrates your skin as you're sleeping now I've talked about in one of my earlier videos about my um, what I use to clean my face it is the Garnier skin active micellar cleansing water I swear by this stuff it is amazing um, once again, it's all-in-one, removes makeup, even waterproof mascara, plus it cleanses and refreshes. No rinse, no harsh rubbing. It's for your face, lips, and eyes. It's for all skin types, even sensitive skin. 
It's no oil, no alcohol, and no fragrance. So it is amazing. And what's cool about it is the bottom half of it's water and the top half of it is your cleaner. So you do have to shake it. That's why it bubbles up. But it is amazing. I, I love it. I definitely, definitely love it. And I am going to take all my eye makeup off because I plan on doing nothing tonight. Just sitting and reading. I'm going to finally read um, one of the books that I got. Uh, I'm going to start reading. Is everyone hanging out without me? So I'm really excited to read that. All right. And since I can't really see, don't mind me, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub. So that's... Uh, Alright, so I'm going to go back through. Make sure I got everything. Make sure I get in the hairline. That is normally the hardest spot to get your makeup off. Alright. Alright. So this is me without makeup so that it's all the makeup off I'm just gonna come back through I'm gonna take another facial pad I'm gonna come in I'm gonna you don't have to rinse this cleaner off like I said when I was reading the bottle for you but you do want to go in and get any residue that is left because I guarantee you nine out of ten times you're going to pull even more makeup off as long as your face is wet there is going to be residue left over alright so now this face um, mask that it's formula 10.0 Six. So it's Keep Your Cool Skin Calming Gel Mask in Coconut and Cucumber. This unique gel mask helps reduce the appearance of nasty breakouts. Coconut soothes blemishes while refreshing cucumber helps calm even the most angry of flared ups. Of flare ups. The most. Bleh, I already read that. The result skin is cool, calm, and under control. So. I love this. I use it all the time. Um, so when I use a product that I'm testing out and I get the textures, see, you can see all the breakouts from trying the new foundation. I got a big, huge whopper right there, right there. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use this. And you just want to rub it in. I'm going to shake it because I haven't used it in a couple of days. I've been using the orange peel one. And then another one that I use is the strawberry one, which is really nice. And you just rub it in. And I do put it around my neck because... You want to make sure your neck stays moisturized and hydrated because your neck is essentially getting the same type of treatment as your face. When you blend, you blend down. I'm going to move my glasses so I don't break them. And I do rub this in until it gets tacky just so you know you get in. Make sure you get all into everywhere so now I'm gonna go 
I'm going to change into my pajamas. I'm going to go and relax next to Jeremy onto the couch. Maybe watch some Top Gear and um, call it a night because it's been a long day. I've been trying to get uh, the editor to work. been trying to download new um, programs for you guys. We got my new light put up. It's actually not new. It's an odd light from my office. Um, but I'm going to try to relax. We have no kids tonight, so it's been really nice just relaxing. And, um, you know, I did go into work and get some, you know, price adjustments done for some guests and did some laundry. I might fold some more laundry, maybe throw another load or two in before we go to bed. But I think that's it for me tonight. Um, I am going to, I keep moving this. Sorry, I know that must be annoying. Um, I do tend to sleep with a lip primer on just so that my lips are being hydrated at night as well. Um, there is a lip mask that I want to get, um, what's it called? I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> it's 1949. It's Laneige Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask. Is it? I'm trying to it doesn't have on on this website it doesn't have the full description but I saw somebody else um, do a video about it so I'm gonna get it I'm gonna do a video of it for you oh look it, it's already oxidizing just in within a couple of minutes of me putting it on during this video it's already oxidized and that was the Laura Geller so um, I don't know I guess I rambled on about on this video my sister told me that I was rambling in one of my other videos and whoops and that she it was too much rambling so she turned it off so um, instead of me keep rambling, I'm just going to call it a night, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.